The polling place at 54th and Kedzie is a longtime fixture in the 14th Ward, just as the alderman, Ed Burke, has been a fixture in the city council. The 79-year-old Burke has held the office for more than 50 years. But Burke, facing a 14-count indictment for racketeering, is not on the ballot this election, leaving longtime voters with a choice of two new names. We've been doing this for 50 or 40 years with Burke. Now it's time for new change. You hope for change? Mm -hmm. I hope. I don't know. Right now, people need a lot of changes because it's a lot of people voting here. The 14th Ward is just one of an unprecedented number of wards, 12, which will have a new face in the alderman's office after the election. This may be the biggest turnaround we've ever seen in city council history. Between retirements and resignations, uh, you're seeing a major, major shift. Analyst Laura Washington says this election will likely usher in a younger generation of alder persons, which will likely mean a number of changes at the city council. New alder persons are less likely to be tied to the traditional Chicago machine politics and more likely to be progressive. Longtime political consultant Delmarie Cobb says a new council may help move the city toward a different model of government where older persons whose wards typically hold 40 to 60,000 residents have a stronger voice. Those of us who are progressive, we looked at this as a real opportunity to change the uh, trajectory of the city council and hopefully take it back to what it was intended originally, which was strong city council weak mayor. With the departure of Ed Burke, the so-called dean of the city council and many other longtime alder persons, comes the departure of centuries worth of institutional knowledge at City Hall. And depending on your perspective, that can either be a bad thing or a good thing. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.